Hey everybody, and welcome to the pre-show. It is a little dark, but we are going through fast night, so hopefully it won't be too dark once we actually get started with the stream. up welcome to the stream today hope your day went well yesterday Jalen, how are you doing today? Really, it's good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and good night. Just wait for that to finish with respect to Fast Night. Get our sheep going. getting a pool building that is a mighty big pool Just a couple more seconds of fast night, and then we'll be at 6 a.m. server time, day 20 of late autumn. The weather looks great. No rain until day 20, day 21. So rain in about two and a half days. Wiggy, what is up? Welcome to the pre-show. Hope your day went well.
Right, we're going to see if we can't just speed along morning a little bit. Guess we should turn these lights off. We don't want to burn down the battery. Well, Jalen, you never know. As you said, everybody is getting ready to go off to um, summer break. Best thing you can do is semi keep in touch, keep tabs. All right, I think that's bright enough. We'll work from here. So those here for the pre-show, go ahead and let me know, should we start the stream cultivating, seeding, or mowing? David, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the pre-show. JJ Durant Farm, welcome to the pre-show. Thank you for your vote. So we got a couple cultivating motions. Couple mowing motions. Grandpa Gaming, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I've been a little tired, but uh, you know what? Getting fired up for the stream is got me ready to rock and roll. See if we can't triple our bank account today with some compost sales before the start. So when we get started with the stream in about one minute, we're going to have lots of fun stuff to talk about. Some Giants news today and some big, big information over at the Epic Game Store. See if we can't double our money. 13,000 bucks, here we come. 20 seconds. All right, let's do the countdown. Now let's get started. everybody and welcome back to Susquehanna River Valley. It is day 20 of late autumn and we are just at the ass crack of dawn, 7.52 a.m. We kind of cheated 
fast forward a time a wee little bit, but it's all good. We're going to have ourselves a fun time this night, I hope. Right now we're just trying to pad our bank account a little bit, sell a couple loads of compost. Shepa, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Well, JJ Duran Farm, thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed the pre show. It's my attempt to, one, get the kind of counter started, get some audience viewership in here with the notifications, and two, let you see something other than just a static countdown timer. While we go and haul this load of compost, let's talk a little bit about the big announcement from Giants today. That is, we have some dates for FarmCon 21. July 21st. No doubt that is a coincidence. FarmCon 21 starting on Ju July 21. And uh, they're going to be talking a lot about, guess what? Farming Simulator 22. So FarmCon's going to go from the 21st to the 24th or 23rd, I believe. It's going to be an online event this year over at Giants' Twitch channel. Sounds like they're going to have both German and English presenters. So it sounds like when they have a German presenter, they're going to do some English um, closed captioning. And probably when there is a a English speaker. They may or may not do some German closed captioning. Not really sure on that one. But we will no doubt hear a lot about Farm Sim 22 during those sessions. And like they did way back when Farm Sim 19 was getting ready to be released, I suspect we're going to hear a lot about modding and what things modders need to do to mod for Farm Sim 22. I'm sure we'll hear a lot more about the sound enhancements, possibly more about the visual enhancements, and the performance enhancements from the inclusion of DX12. Oh, Zach, I suppose they'll continue to give us um, some little tidbits of information, screenshots, other things. So July 21st is a Friday. I am I'm going to have to think a little bit. I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to have an opportunity to kind of watch those sessions and then maybe do a nightly wrap-up. How about that? We can do a nightly farm con wrap-up, kind of a news show where we talk about what was said during the sessions. But that is all dependent upon me being able to actually attend those sessions. Might have to take Friday off from work. We'll just have to see what the schedule looks like when that comes out. Let me know. Do you think a FarmCon wrap-up, a daily wrap-up show, would kind of be interesting? Turn around and head on back. 
So, what was the vote? Did we vote compost? Oh, not compost. Cultivate or mow? I can't remember which is the, uh, which was the most popular. Park this in here for tomorrow's unloading of manure. Thor and David say seating was the victor, so we'll go with that. Jalen, welcome back. You drive up and down the west coast a lot there, JJ. All right, let's figure out what we talked about for this one. Oil seed and cereal. So we'll take oil seed, cereal, cereal. Is that what we decided? Okay, I guess we decided we we're going to put corn in this one. So no seeding in these two fields. Legume and cereal. Canola would be a good one. We can plant canola. Yes, indeed, we can. All right, let's get on with the canola planting. Oh, JJ, what the heck happened here? Let me see what's going on. see no link I think I think steam steam labs is having a little bit of a um, conniption All right, let's get over here to canola there we go I don't even see anything in that message that would even construe as a link. I mean, the only thing is you've got a period between good and loads. And I mean, if Streamlabs is that stupid to think that a period between two words is a link, then I've got some serious questions for the, uh, the intelligence of the person who programmed that. What's up, Rabbit Rob? We are getting ready to plant me some canola. I tell you, people out here, they love their taters.
Matt Tugger, welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Now, I am in Virginia. So, East Coast, born and bred. That's great to hear, Matt. Great to hear. Maybe one day you'll hitch a load, hitch a load of potatoes down here to Virginia. Heck, maybe you can get a load of um, peanuts to uh, head back west. We've got ourselves some pretty good peanut farms. We do cotton here and all kinds of other stuff. AJ Grant, welcome back. Peanuts would be an interesting addition for sure. We'll hopefully hear a lot more about what crops are being added to Farm Sim 22 once FarmCon comes. We talked a little bit about that already earlier. July 21st through, I think, July 23rd. Potato and onion loop, eh? I'm not careful, you all think I am cattle and crops AI here. Go ahead and get kind of partially lined up here. Fire up, guidance steering. These two fields won't take too terrible long and then we'll have to get back to the cultivation. We've got a corn field to cultivate and our wheat field from last fall to finish cultivating. Yeah, it's a tough life probably being an owner operator, right? I listen a lot to audiobooks, and there was an audiobook that came out 
that I was listening is all about the uh, the agricultural thefts in California. And they basically were talking about how people were stealing entire loads of crop. I can't really think about, oh, they were in, like peanuts and almonds. They were stealing entire semi loads of almonds worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And basically the way they were doing it was they were hiring owner operators to basically come pick up loads under false pretenses. I mean, all the paperwork looked like it was in order, but they would pick up the loads and on their way to the destination, they would get a phone call and it would basically say, uh, we're gonna change the destination we would like you to drop this load off over here. And uh, we've got another truck that's gonna come pick it up. And we're gonna go ahead and pay you some more money in cash. So the owner operators that were basically interviewed by the police kind of said that they, they kind of felt something was up, but uh, you know what? You don't turn down cash. And I don't know if they ever closed the uh, the case on who was behind all of these thefts, but uh, there was some pretty good ideas that it was Russian mafia or somebody like that. Crazy. I think it, the book was called Peanut Heist or something like that. Diesel Sims, welcome to the stream. Well, it sounded like they were basically exporting them. They were basically stealing giant totes of uh, either totes or bags of product. And at that point, they're really not labeled. So you take the tote, you dump it into another tote, and you basically have untrackable, untrackable nuts. It's nuts thinking about someone wanting to steal nuts. Right, let's zoom out a little bit because this cedar is loud. So some other interesting news in gaming today, Epic started their mega sale. And if anybody has been following Epic, you know that they give away a game every week and they've been doing that since December, 2018. Well, the free games typically start on Thursday and today they dropped the bomb that you can get for free for the next week. NBA 2K 2021. Now that is a, it's not Steam's free to play for a weekend type deal. This is free for a week, keep forever. So I think, I think the NBA 2K 21 may have gotten some mixed reviews, but it's hard to turn down free, right? A game could be pretty darn bad to be not worth free. Well, David, they can afford to do that because they have Buku's amount of money coming from in-game purchases on Fortnite because Epic is the game studio behind Fortnite. And Epic has this little thing called the Unreal Engine that they license out, obviously, to game developers and such. And they earn royalties off of sales of games running the Unreal Engine. So Epic has epic amounts of money from Fortnite and the Unreal Engine. Uh, 
Oh, Expeditionary Force. I love those books. Absolutely love those books. I started a series, I don't know, a couple years ago. The first book, it was pretty slow to start. And then Skippy came into the picture and the series has been absolutely outstanding since. Hello, Tristan, what is up? Welcome back to the stream. So if sports games are not your thing, then maybe you don't want to pick up the NBA 2K21. But definitely keep an eye out on Epic every Thursday between now and July 17th. July 17th is the end of the Mega Sale. And last year, they dropped some Mega Games. Big time titles during the weekly freebies. Titles you might have heard of. Titles like Grand Theft Auto. Civilization 6 and a few more I've got to look I posted them all in the discord but I went and forgot now speaking of which if you're not a member of the discord there you go in chat Borderlands the handsome collection which is basically every Borderlands released and then a fun little game called Overcooked to close out the 2020 sale. So Grand Theft Auto 5, Civ 6, Borderlands, The Handsome Collection. Those are some pretty major titles. All got for free. You can also pick up a $10 coupon over at Epic. All you got to do is log in during the mega sale and basically you can claim a $10 off coupon. And the reason that might be important is you can basically use it on the purchase of any game over $13.99. And just to uh, just to let everybody know, Farm Sim 20, or Farm Sim 19 is on sale over at Epic during the mega sale. You can pick up the premium edition, which includes the base game and every DLC released for $23.99 after you factor in that $10 off coupon. Uh, Eddie, that is me. I had to alt-tab out of the game, and when I do that, game sound goes away. But yeah, the cedar is ridiculously loud. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button if you're liking what you see. Now, if for some reason you don't like what you see, that's fine. Just make sure you pound that thumbs down two times. Make sure YouTube knows I definitely don't like this. Pound it twice.
There, we heard it wind down. I accidentally hit the fold button. Sounds like David has some stock in uh, in the Brunswick bar and restaurant. Do they specialize in Brunswick stew? That is my question. I didn't even see that quote yesterday. That is a funny one. Prime rib at a bar? Man, that is some upscale uh, bar food. You know, around here, you go to a bar, you get things like Chicken nachos, loaded potatoes, cheddar cheese fries. You know, about as fancy as you get is a uh, is a cheeseburger with two or three different types of cheese on it. David goes to bars that serve prime rib. Good grief. Scooter's Workbench, welcome to the stream. Let's all congratulate Scooter's Workbench for coming by. We know Scooter's life is very busy and we really, really appreciate it when he drops by. He's tossing down the double pig tonight. Uh, JJ, we're driving the uh, W900 over on ATS. Every Monday night. Squiggy, I am all ready to eat some ribeyes. Just, uh, just tell me when and where. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go all in on the heist see how things work out for us I guess the important thing squiggy is how do you cook that steak
Heist is a fun little chat-based adventure. We have a set of adventurers that like to travel the Midwest looking for John Deere parts. Here you go. The great adventurers gather to embark on a great Mississippi to embark on a journey of a lifetime to find ancient John Deere equipment from the 80s and 90s that can still be repaired. The party has returned from where they left. Worn out clothing, they speak of great horrors. With them are wagon loads of John Deere parts, but alas, not a single John Deere technician to install them. Nice, 50,000 points in the bank. So that is a partial victory. If we get a full on victory, then we return with six aging John Deere technicians also. Welcome back. I have to say you were sorely missed. JJ Durant was tricking out Steam Labs Steam Bot. We needed a moderator of your caliber to slap the Steam Labs bot around a little bit. So that's going to close out our canola. There we go. We've got that little noise maker done for a little bit. Squiggy, I don't buy steaks at anywhere anyway. Jalen won the duel. Excellent. Excellent. All right, let's see if I can gamble. Come on, roll me 100. Give me 100 points. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. I'll take 20,000 points. Thank you very much. See, I got to burn steaks for the wife. She's a little crazy. She likes hers like, like burnt. And when I say burnt, I mean not red in the middle. Which I have to say is kind of a challenge when you can't really see red anyway.
So for those not aware, I am mildly colorblind. So I have some red insens insensitivity. So actually seeing red in the middle is, uh, well, a bit difficult to say the least. I can tell when something's raw or not raw. That is about it. So what's really, really crazy about this, this crazy woman is I will catch her eating raw ground ground, basically hamburger. She will eat raw hamburger, but she won't touch a steak that has any semblance of blood in it. I said, you do know that they the exact same piece of meat. It's just the ground hasn't been run through a grinder. She says, yes, I know this. Yep, yep, women are crazy. 100% certifiable. Jalen raw meat can be quite tasty if served properly. It is not a risk. We also like ourselves some good sushi. Just not chicken. Chicken is a foul, foul beast. Crazy women. Crazy women. Yeah, I like a nice, simple, spicy tuna roll. Salmon rolls are nice. You'll have to link them in the Discord, Squeaky. We've got a screenshots section. Well, man, it sounds like you need to go grab yourself something to eat.
Oh, come on by, Squiggy. We do not fight. At least most of us don't. I, you, I have never heard of maple sausage sauce. What on earth? Is that like sausage that's been um, mixed with maple syrup and then uh, stuck in casing? I made some spaghetti tonight. Her youngest loves it. Super simple because it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Simple ground hamburger. Prego spaghetti sauce and some thin spaghetti noodles. Then he likes to eat the Parmesan cheese balls. You know, the Parmesan cheese, it kind of gets clustered up into little round balls. Well, Jaden, you do know that you can, uh, you can basically set ATS up to play any online radio. So I'm pretty sure if you do Spotify or Listen FM or whatever any of those other online radio stations are, you can just set up ATS to do that. to clean this tractor off. Hey, you can do the same thing with farm sim. For obvious reasons, I disabled the farm sim music. We've got a cornfield we need to cultivate up. And then once we get that done, we're going to head over here and start our mowing job. I think, JJ, the ground textures in the screenshots that we have seen have been outstanding. The cultivation ground texture with the inclusion of the, uh, basically the stubble, that looked really great. The 
rich, deep, dark earth of the seeded texture. And we saw an interesting ground texture in the second set of images that were released that were specific to seasonal cycles. Kind of off beside the house, we saw a ground texture that didn't look like any of the other textures we had seen to date. Some have been speculating if maybe we get to see different textures depending on if it was like a power harrow, disc cultivator, subsoiler. See, mod maps have been adding in custom textures for a while that include, you know, some some crop um, debris. So it'll be nice to see that come to the base game. If you haven't seen my deep dive video, JJ, I've got two deep dive videos for Farm Sim 22 based on the initial press release about Farm Sim 22 where they included some images, the images of the John Deere tractor, the uh, Massey Ferguson tractor, uh, the New Holland Harvester, and such. And then I also did another deep dive video around the announcement of seasonal cycles that also included some new screenshots. We're going to continue to do those as more and more and more press releases do come out for Farm Sim 22. Hot curry chicken. Uh, I think you need to package that up and send me some. So Squiggy owes me some steak and Four owes me some hot curry chicken. Uh, JJ, I think it's basically that they're having issues getting it to work or look right with their own engine. Remember, Farm Sim runs on the Giants engine, which is a custom game engine, obviously written by Giants. So I think they've said in the past that dynamic ground has been basically an idea that they've had for a while and they just haven't been able to get it to work or work the way that they want it to work or a way that they feel that the community would basically accept it. Now, I don't really know what engine cattle and crops is using, but obviously they're not using the Giants engine. And I think, you know, if, if their dynamic round and a few other things really might be setting them apart, but they might be set apart in a bad way. In that cattle and crops, you've got one map. You've got the delivered map from cattle and crops, and that's all you have. So my understanding is that cattle crops basically requires the map to be built in blender entirely and obviously with their kind of enhanced ai capabilities you know you can send a you can send a farmer off from your farm to a field and they basically drive to the field and do the work and drive back 
So Canon Crops basically has built in it the auto drive function and to some degree, you know, hopefully a more advanced AI helper. Now, I did watch a show, a video today from Curvo over on YouTube. He's been doing some videos on cat on crops and he basically showed a wheat harvest from start to finish from an aerial point of view where he had an a AI helper come and harvest the field as well as an AI helper basically run the grain cart. And they did a pretty good job. Uh, they could have definitely done it a little bit more efficiently. You can definitely see where the AI was trying to avoid driving across the field, it was trying to avoid driving over the windrows when it could. Um, so there were sections of time where it kind of weaved up and down the field. But I think a lot of those embedded aspects like auto drive, the enhanced AI, what it does is it locks you in to fields exactly how they are on the map. I don't think you're ever going to see in cat on crops the ability to make custom fields. I don't think you're ever going to see the ability to expand fields. Because I really think that the the dynamic ground starts and ends in the fields. Yeah, I don't think you have that kind of a dynamic ground when you drive outside of the field. Whereas with farm sim, everything and anything could be a field. So if anything, I think that's one of the things that's gonna really put a detriment to cattle and crops is is how long, how much of a longevity will players retain their interest in cattle and crops, knowing that basically they are restricted to pretty much one map, or if maybe the cattle and crops developers eventually come out and release a second map. I see there being a pretty high barrier to entry for people to make their own and design their own maps because of needing to embed all of that AI intelligence into basically driving around and such. Rasnik, what is up? Everyone take note that Raz is going to be kicking off his stream in about an hour and 10 minutes. So we're going to be shutting down here in about an hour an hour and five minutes and that will give you all plenty of time to head over to his channel and get ready to continue the fun and excitement so Raz has done some cattle and crops you can kind of comment a little bit maybe on the dynamic ground I was saying that I think it's pretty much limited to the field areas and for that reason I was figuring that probably would never see cattle and crops allow you to create fields or expand fields. Welcome back, Matt. Oh, I just barely won 20 grand. Yeah, I was talking that I felt maybe the longevity, the the ability for people to retain their interest in cattle and crops might be somewhat limited because of its maybe eventual lack of of map. Because I think maybe there's a higher barrier to entry with respect to uh, to making maps 
because of some of that enhanced AI that is built into the maps. Did I get these fields fertilized? Yep, they are fertilized. This one's fertilized. Great. I just need to have Raz come through at some point after growth to do a second or to do a final fertilization on those. ball is harsh big meanie So Raz, do you know when the contractor is going to come and fix your fence? Goes that fancy bacon sausage or maple sausage spaghetti. Scooter Workbench is screaming at Steam Labs or Stream Labs. Yeah, you know their comment. No, we don't. We don't really need to do a post ins post um, install inspection. Maybe maybe they're really talented at at pacing themselves, so they deliberately end their construction at you know toward dusk, where then the homeowner can't really see what's going on until they are long gone. Likes mushy noodles. Jalen, he's meaning gluten-free. I've seen gluten-free noodles before, and that is, uh, dare I say, a poor impersonation of a real noodle.
All right, this field is fallow and cereal. So let's go ahead and look at what our rotation options are. like I'm not doing cotton Maybe we can put in some more canola sunflowers might be an interesting crop soybeans are okay corn eh. no Carrots and onions are so expensive to get into. Really don't have any place to store those. Hops would be interesting though. Hops would be interesting. I think we'll do sunflowers. Uh, that's right, Jalen, the days are getting longer. So let's see when the planting schedule I, don't, I can't plant sunflowers until next year. Right, so we're gonna put we're gonna put corn on these two fields, and then we're gonna put sunflowers on this field, and we gotta figure out what we're planting up here. I have absolutely no idea, JJ. We were talking earlier, of course, that peanuts would be an interesting crop. I do have to say, though, I think the track record for new crops in Farm Sim has not really gone that well. So we had in Farm Sim 17 in the Platinum Edition, the addition of sugarcane. So quick, quick raise of hands. Who frequently plants sugar cane in farm sim? I won't wait for the hands. I know it's pretty much nobody. You probably planted it once. You harvested it once. And then you said, okay, been there, done that. Never again. Now let's talk about cotton. Cotton might be a little bit more popular with its planting, but still, I don't really see cotton in too many fields in uh, content creators' streams and videos that I watch. So how many of you all regularly plant cotton? It's probably more that plant sugarcane but still, so kind of for the last few crops that have been added to the base game, they seem to be a bit more maybe gimmicky and or um, just something to spark short-term interest than something that really takes hold. Now we have maps like this that have crazy crops. Yeah, we've got carrots, onions, hops, cabbages, red and 
regular, spelt, rye, alfalfa, millet, triticale, and poppies. I would like to see another form of grass. That would be cool. Multiple grass crops that are actually different grasses and not just you mow alfalfa and you get grass. So I kind of like to see different grasses that are treated differently, maybe need to be fed differently. Uh, root crops are cool and all, but they often require so much specialty harvest hardware that I really need to see, you know, if we're gonna add, let's say carrots, I really wanna see carrot harvesting equipment. Hops would be interesting, but I think hops typically has specialized harvesters. Well, Raz, I don't know why it wouldn't. I mean, you're on Emerald Coast. Perfect for cotton. Just gotta get it done. Get it done, son. Now, I wasn't around to play Farm Sim 15, but I think that when Farm Sim 17 came out, I think soybeans was new to the game. So I think soybeans may have been the last real actual popular crop to be added to the game. Now other things that I'd like to see added would be like fruit trees. And then having a real fruit shaker, tree shaker, that you bring up to the trunk of the tree and shake it. And then basically the fruit is collected in maybe a, a net that wraps around the tree just above the, the shaking apparatus. That would be pretty cool. Jalen, I think Farm Sim 15 and 17 were out for Xbox 360. I'm not really sure. Did you have Goldcrest Valley as a map? Or uh, what was that? Westbridge Hills. Did you have Westbridge Hills as a base map? So if you had Goldcrest Valley, then that would be Farm Sim 17. If Westbridge Hills was a giant space map, did you have mods? I think that's the question. If you didn't have mods, then you were in 15. If you had the ability to install mods, then you had Farm Sim 17. So did you go from Farm Sim 15 to Farm Sim 19? Then Jalen? Okay, that was probably a big old leap. Uh, JJ, that map will just not die, will it? Seems like every iteration of Farm Sim, Giants Island shows up as a mod map.
Oh, 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 Matt's throwing down the duel. Stream lab, or are you gonna stream labs? Or are you gonna duel? I don't know if you'd be able to hire a, a tree shaker. That might be a multiplayer task. So speaking of tree shakers, the inclusion of nuts like uh, almond nuts, walnuts. That would be a very interesting kind of crop type to bring into the game would be tree nuts. What kind of other crops? I mean, rice was pretty popular when we were speculating what the R DLC was. It turned out to be the Rotney DLC. We were kind of thinking, hey, it would be cool if there was a rice DLC where we could get some proper rice planting and harvesting equipment. Maybe another giant's map that had the ability to flood fields. Oh, four, what happens? You lose all your points. Dag on. Just do some cinematic pans around the field. Big Farm UK, welcome to the stream. How late is it there for you? Like, uh, what, 2 a.m.? say I don't know I very very rarely anymore seem to hire a helper I just kind of chill out and uh, kind of let the worker do their thing I was thinking 2 15 in the morning do you work the late shift or you just can't sleep Two questions to get one answer. Uh, cherry trees would be nice, yeah. I tell you, when growing up, we had. Uh, there were some cherry trees that were right beside some fields that we harvested on. And I remember basically, basically driving, we would ride out there in a truck and we would take a loader out with us. Uh, we would run the bucket up under the tree and then we would climb in the bucket and basically stand in the bucket of the loader and pick cherries out of the tree, put them in buckets. And then as we filled up buckets, we would put them in the back of the truck.
<laughs> oh my god, that is so hilarious. Streamlabs is telling jokes, everybody. Uh, it is 9.18 p.m. for me, Big Farm UK. That is East Coast time. For those watching that are on the West Coast, it is actually 6.18 p.m. for them. All of the UK is in one time zone, right? I suspect, I suspect folks in the UK, though, you probably deal with a lot of maybe European countries and European-based um, companies. So dealing with businesses and folks in other time zones probably isn't that unique to you. But uh, it is something that we have to think about a lot here in the U.S., especially those of us on the East Coast is you know if i come in in the morning and i need to call a company that is on the west coast i gotta think are they keeping east coast customer service times or am i gonna have to wait until like 11 o'clock or midday before uh before i can get any you know any assistance out of them i've told the story before where we once had to deal with a company out of Hawaii and basically due to the time zone delay, we would have about an hour to basically contact them on any one given day during our work hours because they were so far behind us that uh, they were starting their work day about the time we were finishing our work day. That really, really came into a problem with uh, trying to get anything done. So if giants were to implement other animals, what kind of other animals would we like to see in the game? I kind of joked about it, but I would like to see other forms of, uh, of maybe wool animals, maybe alpacas. That would be pretty cool. What other, what other animals do wool? llamas alpacas and llamas are kind of kind of the same general sub subspecies right but that'd be kind of interesting have an alpaca farm llama llama beans Vegetable farming would be interesting to be added to the game. As long as we had the appropriate harvesting equipment. Well, we had raspberry bushes down in the backyard. Man, they are great, but oh, they will tear you up.
Ducks and turkeys would be interesting. Poultry, yeah. Some other poultry options. Who remembers the infamous, we can see wild deer walking through the forest. I just want my wild deer to come into Farm Sim 2021. 20, it's Farm Sim 22, that's it. Camels. Wild bear. I mean, heck, why don't we just get little squirrels running around, jumping between the trees? We've got we've got birds. When Farm Sim 19 came out, we had birds. I thought that was such a cool feature. I know some folks are like, dude, can you turn the birds off? I can't stand the birds. I don't mind them. I think it's nice. There's a little bit of life to the map. Uh, bears, you stay away from, Jalen. If no one's ever taught you that, you stay away from bears. If you see a bear, you don't run away. You just kind of, you just kind of slowly back up. That is no good. Wake them up at 4.30 in the morning. Must have been important. Well, Jalen, at that point, you're buying a new truck. Well, they did, they did talk about deer in Farm Sim 19. It was something that was mentioned early on. That there was going to be birds and deer and uh, it never came out never came to fruition they were saying that they were having a hard time with the animations so i think that's one reason why they are kind of kind of close lip on things is they kind of got burnt by talking about something that they later on weren't able to actually implement. In fact, that's why if you go and if you go on Ravenport, not Ravenport, you go on Fellsburn and you go into the town, you're going to find a statue of animals. And the animals are basically sorted in, in size with cows at the bottom. And then I think it was uh, sheep pigs then there was a dog and I'm pretty sure there was a deer and then a bird so the only thing missing from that statue was a a, 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 a horse I mean that's something else that was introduced in farm sim 19 that I don't know how popular really it is and that is horses. You know? How many of you all want, uh, keep horses on any given save? I think they need to ride them every day for five minutes. Kind of the, uh, the thrill wears off. Clean our disc. We are done disking for the year.
Yeah, I mean, it wasn't too terrible long after Farm Sim 19 came out that there was the horse helper mod, right? Why don't I pay someone else to do all the horse care? I just want to keep them, feed them, and reap the monetary reward. can indeed breed horses which is pretty cool I haven't really used that mod because well pretty much play with seasons but Scooter's workbench, look at that, 33 hours. Thor is catching up to you. All right, let's go get some mowing some grass. Hey, I'm just glad I'm on the list of watching my own stream. Right, how do I not have the most hours? Of us that watched the stream yesterday we didn't have any of the weird texturing going on with the grass looks like we are in uh, good shape today alfredo farms welcome back I guess you've got less than uh, 14 hours so you don't show up on the list. It is kind of loud, that is for sure. We should pair it with the air seeder and see which one basically wins, right? Oh, 
we were getting lag here and I thought the sputtering was because it was uh, I was out of fuel <laughs> I'm like why am I sputtering oh no am I out of fuel no just server lag I do really like my idea of putting grass on this hillside. Well, keep it turned this way. There we go. I tell you, on the way coming home from work today, I was seeing a lot of people mowing, mowing hay or baling hay. Now that we are fast approaching Memorial Day here on the East Coast, uh, it is prime haymaking season. I remember growing up putting all kinds of hay bales up over Memorial Day weekend. Super, super looked forward to Sundays because, well, we grew up going to church. And one thing that we very much did not do on Sundays was farm work, unless we absolutely could not get around it. So, after putting up thousands of round or thousands of square bales every day for six days straight, Sunday was a much much sought after reprieve this was back in the day where there really weren't big square bales you basically had little round little squares and then you had big round bales and the only people that did big round bales were basically dairy operations We didn't have any animals, so we basically did cash crop hay bales, small squares. We mostly sold them to horse people. Catch you later. Here this workbench if you don't come back before the stream ends. Remember, everybody, in about 30 minutes, Raz is going to be firing up his own stream. Head on over to his channel. We will put a link in chat as that is coming up. So we can all head over there and continue the fun and excitement. All right, JJ Dirt, thanks for dropping by. We had a fun time chatting. Hope to see you come back for another stream. feeling I'm going to be continuing to mow this grass and collect it as I hear Raz's stream. Oh my 
gosh. I think putting the grass down is what's causing the lag. We didn't have any real lag until we started mowing. But at least we're not getting the, uh, the magical different colored grass come out the back. Uh, David, it's just me. It's just me tonight, but look at that ping. We're usually in the 30s, but we're up in the mid 40s, occasionally 50s tonight. You were able to get the uh, were you able to get the mod list down to fit on the server? And now we're down in the low twenties. So this particular server is running out of the Miami data center. Typically I don't use Miami as a data center location. It's hard to say what they've got going on. Oh, 3.6 gigs. You got room to spare. How big was the mod folder before you uh, trimmed it down? Four and a half, that's not too terrible, man. Lewis, actually, let's talk a little bit about that. That was not me. Lewis, that there was an imposter. Let's, let's do a little Among Us. That was an imposter. So I got up this morning and he had uh, sent me an email. Basically telling me what all happened that uh, someone came into his stream last night posing as me with my logo and everything basically made a comment and uh, and then that was it right so I went back looked at his stream I didn't really see where it was so I asked him I said hey what when did it happen so he told me when it happened and went back and watched it and uh, and everything. But yeah, he told me that after the fact, he went back and watched the replay and he noticed that the name was no longer my name. The name had changed to something else. So this was clearly an imposter, someone that was trying to start some stuff. And I think he did a really great job with uh, with handling it in stream. Really appreciated him reaching out to me and letting me know that uh, there is an imposter among us. 
and uh, and everything. So now we know that there's someone out there trying to start some with me, apparently. Yeah, right? I mean, it's not my normal MO to, one, go into somebody's stream and uh, make accusations. Right? The dude is free to make whatever content he wants to make. So, I told him... I told him I might drop by tomorrow or Saturday, if for real, if uh, if I remember. Yeah, that's what I told him in the email. It's like, there's so many... There's so much content out there to be made. Everybody can basically cover the same thing their own way. We can all get along. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jalen, that's when you need to that's when you need to sing the tune into Google Music Search. If you do it good enough, it will tell you the song. I mean, it's not a song called Baby Shark, is it? Well, Lewis, of course they're great. You're one of them, right? Are you sure it's not Baby Shark? I'm sure somebody in chat could hum the tune for you just to remind you what it sounds like. I want to look it up just in case. I think Lewis has Among Us on his mind.
so tomorrow is Friday. I think tomorrow is going to be a um, a podcast release over on Giants. They've been releasing podcasts every two weeks, and I think it's going to be about two weeks since the last podcast. Unless I'm mistaken. Did they release a podcast last week and I just forget about it? I know the seasonal changes was last week because it was an early release on Wednesday, which was rather interesting. Which we probably should have realized that Giants releasing a press release on Wednesday probably meant that they were not going to be in the office on Thursday or Friday. Luis Hernandez, thank you for joining the channel, buddy. Much appreciated. Of course, you may have already been a member of the channel. It seems like Streamlabs is giving me renewal notifications. Which is great that you've renewed, for sure. I guess now I guess you weren't a member because now you have the now you have the magical badge. And you get some nice animal emotes. Since we're talking about joining the channel. So if you're watching and you're not a member of the channel and you're interested, uh, just go ahead and click that join button down there by subscribe. It will tell you what kind of benefits you get by being a member. Uh, but basically, you get a fancy little badge next to your name. You get some funny little animal emotes, right? But you also get early access to pre-recorded videos I upload assuming that the video is not uh, basically constrained by any sort of timed NDA there are occasional videos that I put out and release right away but there are others that when they are basically uploaded members will get first access to watch those before they are released to the general public. You'll see at the end of every stream and video a rolling list of credits of all of the farm bosses and farm barons. And farm barons well farm barons get a a sort of a shout out at the uh, the start of one video a month. So we'll go. This video is sponsored by Luis Hernandez. Thank you for being a farm baron. Something like that. Steve the farmer, welcome to the stream, buddy. Oh, the poor tractor is skipping. I think I need to go in and get its engine checked. Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Steve. Thanks for dropping by. Now we've got about... Just about another eight minutes left in the stream. But don't fear because we're going to be handing that over to Raz. He's going to be doing some live streaming over on... Emerald Coast tonight. So go ahead and keep that URL handy. Maybe pop it up in a new tab. Uh, we are kind of closing out autumn here. 
done all of our fall planting. We're gonna get some grass cut here, get this collected. And I think at that point we are pretty much pretty much done and ready for winter here on the server. So we've been doing a fair bit of streaming on Susquehanna as we moved into August. Or not August, but autumn. But uh, we'll be back on Italia next week for sure with live streams. Now that we are pretty much into winter on this map by then. Oh, you definitely know that they're going to be revealing a lot more information about Farm Sim 22 during FarmCon, July 21st through 23rd. Hopefully we'll get information about what is changing with respect to mods and modding. And we'll probably also get more information about seasonal changes. This is all speculative. I don't actually have any insider information. Thinking about doing a nightly, a nightly uh, farm con show. Kind of the today in farm con, where we kind of do a summary of the different sessions. So if you weren't able to actually watch the sessions, hopefully I'll be able to watch those. Or, uh, or heck, maybe, maybe if Giants is super awesome, they will give ambassadors kind of ahead of information as to what's going on in the sessions so then if i am not able to actually watch the sessions i'll maybe have the ability to get caught up but i'm still hoping that they're going to release information in little bits and grabs between now and then and i am i'm i'm thinking i'm thinking that farmcon I think the big bomb that they're going to drop is going to be the release date. So I think FarmCon, we're going to get the release date. I think FarmCon is when they're going to open up pre-orders. Right around that time frame is going to be E3. And E3 is typically when they drop the longer trailer. So that is that is another big question I have personally. What's Farm Sim 22 going to cost? So up to this point, Farm Sim and our Giants has used Focus Home Interactive as their distributor. And distributors are in charge of marketing and uh, basically distribution of the game. It's the name distributor. Uh, they often will front money to the developer and then basically collect some monies on the back end per sale and such. And I think the distributor typically has most of the power with respect to setting the price so what we don't know is obviously what the price is going to be now the Giants is self-publishing are they going to keep it the same are they going to bump the price or are they going to drop the price I mean it's hard it's hard to drop the price right I mean it's not that bad right now uh, Super QWERTY, you did nearly miss the stream, but do not fret because you know what, buddy? You can go watch some more amazing farm sim, farm sim content over at Raznak's channel. Uh, check out the link in chat right there. He's going to be coming live in about, uh, about five minutes past the hour. So we're going to wrap up right around the top of the hour, which will give you plenty of time to grab some beverages. Hit the head and uh, get ready for another couple hours of fabulous farm sim. So just speaking of price, I'm just going to lay this down. I talked a little bit about it at the start of 
the string, but Epic launched their Mega Sale today. Part of the Mega Sale launch is you can pick up for free. Buy for free, keep forever. NBA 2K21. All you gotta do is go over and either create an account with Epic or log in with your Epic account and claim that game for free between now and next Thursday. Also, logging in during the sale will give you a $10 coupon available to be used to acquire any other game during the sale. Uh, there's lots of really cool deals to be had. Now, I'm sure most of you all watching already have Farm Sim, so this probably isn't going to pertain to you. But those of you that may have picked up Farm Sim for free over on Epic when it was available might be interested in the fact that you can pick up the premium edition of Farm Sim. Right now it's on sale for $33.99, but that $10 coupon I mentioned allows you to pick it up for $24.99. And the premium edition, again, is every DLC released to date. So that is a pretty cool deal. And with that, folks, we are pretty much going to wrap it up. Like I said, head on over to Raz's channel. Once we are done here, he's going to be launching his stream in about five minutes. Big shout out and thank you to all of the farm hands, farm bosses, and farm barons of the channel. You guys are great. See, Lewis, it's got your name on there. I thought you remember earlier. And until next time, happy farming.